What's up everybody? We're back with uh, the October Triangle MLS stats. So we're going to give you your market update. I have with me here the old man to help give you some additional information on the market. Ben, thank you for inviting me to do this with you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm excited. <laughs> I feel privileged. You are privileged. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to go in three big sections. So we're going to start with the whole triangle first, and then we're going to dig into Wake County specifically, and then we're going to really zero in on Raleigh. Um, so just looking at the triangle, we actually saw new listings increase about 11.1% in the month of October to 4,111 new listings on the market. Closed sales actually went up 10.3%. Woohoo, right? It's a good number. Um, it went up to 3,449 sold homes. Inventory actually went down, right? Which is crazy considering all the new listings we had go on the market. Uh, inventory fell 6.5% to 8,616 homes. Um, and then the median sales price actually went up to 7.7%, um, and it's actually at $280,000. Uh, and another key number we look at is days on market. And for the whole triangle, it was actually flat for the month of October at 32 days on market. Why do you think the number was flat? Well, I think possibly, Ben, it, it's flat because it's um, the cost of the market going back up again. Uh, you saw interest rates drop a little bit. And uh, you also had folks come, coming back out of the uh, school market, getting back into the marketplace in the fall. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think there were some shifting things in the market that we saw flatten the days on market out a little bit. Nothing to worry about. Again, pretty typical for this time of year. So let's go ahead and dig into Wake County. Uh, new listings, again, increased 9.3% to 2047. So the same thing we saw in the triangle level actually happened in Wake County as well. We saw an increase in new listings. Closed sales were up 16.5%. That's a big jump year over year to uh, 1,826 homes closed. Inventory fell, again, following that macro trend in the triangle. Um, it fell down 3.3% to 4,073 homes. Uh, median sales price actually jumped 3.9%. Again, really good for Wake County, uh, up, up to $319,223. Uh, and then days on market actually grew or went up um, in Wake County. It went up 7.4% to 29 days on the market. Now, we have an interesting number here for uh, to give you some comparison. Back in 2014, which you were in the market at that point, um, you were in the market when the dinosaurs were around too, so that's, that's awesome. Uh, but the days on market in 2014 was 62 days on market. And this was only five years ago, but that was the average days on market for Wake County. So just to give you some comparison numbers um, around that days on market. So Joe, can you talk a little bit about why you think the um, inventory is continuing to shrink? Uh, well, that's a natural trend we're going to see. Most most folks have put their houses on the market during the um, spring and summer market. Now we're going into the fall winter market. Uh, you're going to see a continued decrease, decrease because your buyer pool is going to shrink also. As that shrinks, you know, everyone's gearing up for the new season in February, typically. So I think that's you know more than likely why you saw the fall in percentage of uh, homes going on the market inventory. Right. Right. I agree. I think it, I think it's still a great time, though, to go look at homes because as the inventory is shrinking, um, those people who are still on the market, they're really serious about selling their home. So it's still a great time to go look for a home. Um, let's let's go ahead. And, let's get into Raleigh numbers now. So same thing. New listings increased nine point nine percent to nine hundred and fourteen new homes hit the market in October. Closed sales up twelve point two percent. Um, up to 793 homes sold in the month of October. Inventory, again, fell 2.9% to uh, 1,530 homes. Median sales price, again, we're seeing this trend. It's been, it's been, I think, 93 consecutive months of growth in the median sales price. It's up 6.8% to 265,000 in Raleigh. Um, and again, days on market, kind of following Wake County at this point, it's actually up 16% year over year to 29 days. So something you mentioned was pretty interesting was how the inventory is, is shrinking. Um, why do you think we're seeing a pop, though, in new listings year over year? That's almost a 10% increase. Well, I think you're going to see because of the growth that's going on. I think um, our market continues to be strong with buyers that um, you have more flexibility with your marketplace, with your sellers. Yeah. 
I agree. I, I think it's an interesting number too because you see these new listings coming on the market um, and, and as they come on the market, these sellers know that the inventory is shrinking this time of year. So again, the, the advantage to home sellers is that there's less competition for them when you put your house on the market because you know that buyer pool is really concentrated as the inventory comes down. So if you're thinking of selling a home right now, it's actually a pretty good time to put your home on the market because there's not that many other people doing it right now. So um, you get more eyeballs on your house. Um, and a couple other numbers we're keeping our eye on is uh, the percent of original list price received. We talked about this in our last video. It's a really fascinating number, which basically means, just to give you a quick recap, um, is how much are you actually getting for the original listing price of your home? Um, and it's an important number because it actually tells us, are there a lot of price drops happening in the market? So uh, last year at this time, 98.3% of the time you were getting your list price of your home. That was the amount you were getting for your home. We saw that drop this year to 98%. So we're seeing that shift down a little bit um, and that could be a, a number of factors. So what are the things you think could be causing people to shift that number down where they're not getting a higher percentage um, for their list price of their home? Uh, I think two areas, Ben. One, I think, is your market may be topping out where your percentage of growth year over year, month over month, is not as um, uh, growing as quickly as it used to. Mm -hmm. I think secondly, your buyer pool is becoming more um, sophisticated in what they're looking for in a home, that they want things more moving ready than they do want to have to go in and fix something up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good point. It used to be that you could put a house on the market and it would sell no matter what. And now we've gotten back to saying to a lot of our sellers that are on the market right now is that condition actually matters. So the condition of your home is now almost or as important as the price of your home or as the location of your home. Um, and again, that's one of the things we do really well is we, we come in whenever you're looking at putting your home on the market and we tell you some things we think you can do to upgrade the condition of your home to make it really appealing to, to uh, home buyers. Um, and another interesting stat that we keep our eye on is showings per listing. So this is how many uh, showings we see houses getting based on uh, from the time they go on the market to the time they go pending. Um, and the average across the board was 6.1. So if your home was on the market, you averaged about six showings before it went on before it went under contract. Um, this is a really cool number because if your home's on the market right now, it's kind of a good little litmus test for you to say, is my home priced correctly? Is it marketed correctly? And is the condition good enough? Um, because if you're seeing below six, six showings, you kind of have an indicator of, hold on now, uh, we're, we're, something's up with the house or something's going on here. We need to tweak or do something different to get the home sold. Um, uh, anything to add to that? No, just a simple rule that if your house is on the market for more than 14 days in today's market, um, it either has to do with price, um, condition, or location. Yeah. And what you have to do that is adjust the price to, to meet the market demands. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So that's your market update for October, guys. Again, nothing nothing major popping out. We're not really freaking out about anything. Good, strong numbers, good growth in the triangle. Um, remember, our team has 30 years of experience. We've helped thousands of people buy homes and thousands of people sell homes. Um, so let us put that experience to work for you. If you have any questions about putting your home on the market, purchasing a home right now, or you're thinking about doing it next year even, let us know. You can call us at 919-867-1400. Go to our website, Mathis Real Estate group.com or reach us on any of our social channels. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, wherever you can find us, message us. We'll get back to you. And as always, we look forward to helping you take the next step in your real estate journey.